What is this? Okay, I think it should be good right now. Coops. Oh no! It is my father. Dad. Wait, what's this? My father's clutching some kind of letter, or at least his uh bones are. So what should I do? Should I read it? Yeah, I guess you can read it. Um, okay, I can do this. Uh, I'll read it. Ahem. I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I'm stuck and can go no further. So, in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weakness for those who follow. The dreaded Hooktail cannot tolerate croaking creatures that begin with F and end with Rog. I heard that something related to Hooktail's weakness is hidden somewhere in this castle. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find whatever that thing is. One last thing. If faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will surely use any trick to serve, save herself. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already, mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? Wait, cut the music. My son, Colorado? Not Coo? Not Coops? Oops. Uh, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. Yet in the shit. <laughs> but if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. Let's not go searching every single frickin' uh, bone pile for your dad, okay? Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait a second. Okay. Uh, do that one and that one. <laughs> you clearly don't value their lives much if you've come to this castle to disturb us. You'll go no further, and from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones. Bounce, where are you doing? It's nice. They're all over me, man. What should we do? Oy vey. Okay, well, that didn't work out. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Uh, perhaps the hammer? So dull bones, one, two, and one. Let's try the skeleton thing. It was a Koopa Troopa, once. Max HP is one, attack is two, defense is one. These creeps throw bones to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements too. Attacks that can strike multiple dull bones at once are the most effective. If I had the power for it. Uh oh. Oh! 
Okay, retry. Retry that. I gotta deal with this frickin' uh, thing again. See, I will say the sometimes the guard uh, timing is a bit tricky, especially if you're trying to go for the super guard, because the time frame for the super guard is. Uh, a rough window to for that one. Um, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. If this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. Don't think about it. Hey, buddy, can you move? Come here. They build reinforcements too. Attacks that can strike multiple dull bones at once are the most effective. Can they be hit with fire? Uh, let me check the red bones, though. Red bones. A little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know? Max HP 5, attack is 3, defense is 1. Like okay, average little bones, even if you pound it to 0 and it crumbles, it totally might revive like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all the dull bones and then attack the red bones. One more thing, once its friends start to fall, it may create some more. Okay, uh, she didn't say anything about them in being impervious to fire, so... Okay. We're in business. Swap and then switch to coops. Okay, I feel like this is like a cheaty doodle way to get the level ups or whatever. Oh, I need to... Okay, Power Smash. Power Smash. Let's 
I already have like 21 star points in that container right there. <laughs> There we go, 28. Yeah, so... That's... I feel like that's... Okay. If you're early in the game, that's an easy way to level up fast, right there. Is have that boss fight. Each time they rebuild... A, uh, get rid of all the dull bones first, and then each time they rebuild it, destroy that dull bones, and then have the second person in the party defend... And it, because each dull bones you get gives you three star points. That well, the, like I said, uh, that's depending on like what level you're on. So right now, I think Mario for me is level five or six, so that makes sense. But overall, that is a really easy way to get some levels fast early. But it's it would take like a good while for it because of the fact that each time, uh, whenever you level, you need a hundred star points to level up. Rock. Oh, well, now they're giving me two. What the fuck? Here, destroy that. And real quick, do that. Hold it, Coops. Hold it. Go. Okay. Because my intuition kicked in for that. So we do this. What about, yeah, because I saw a pathway on the left side, so I'm assuming I need to get on top of the yellow one. Oh, I did not have a good running start on that. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Anything else up here? Mm, no. Doesn't seem like it. Alright. So we got the red key. Let's hit this button back. Da ba ba da ba ba da ba 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 ba
Okay. What do we got? How many? Okay. I'm trying to think of, uh, uh, Coops, what you got? Three? No. Okay. I'm trying to, okay, uh, first off, that Paragomba that has the Fire Flower has me worried. I don't want to use a Fire Flower of my own. <laughs> it just did zero damage because he had his defense still. Oh, rock. Get out of here. Okay, so it goes up for a little bit and then it comes back down. So let's do that. Uh, okay, black, uh, black treasure chest, which means there's gonna be a curse inside. Let's check in here. What all is in here? There is a crack in the wall there. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to come back for that later. Okay, black key. Whoa! Uh, Mario? Look at that. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Come on, run! Where, 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 where? Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Jesus. know exactly what Goombella would have said when the spikes popped in. These fucking chests. scratch your back you scratch mine except in reverse order of course you don't have to you don't have to if you really don't want to finding a key like this is hard hang on what's this you've already found the key unbelievable
Yeah, a normal whole thing with the curse. Okay, go ahead and get it over with. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Why do freaking these freaking spirits thinking this is a curse? No, this is a blessing for me. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Fine. So just going to go ahead and grab this real quick. Attack FXG. Koopa back there with a badge. Hit both of you guys down to the ground. What? Oh! That's right. I was so close on that bingo. Uh oh, shy guy. No, no. You're such an ass. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. So it's the coops. Okay. Um, I don't believe I have the green key. So I'm... Oh, that's right! The green key is uh, behind the bars in the uh, the same area where I battled the red bones. So I gotta mosey on back this way.
Paper Mario? Yeah, Bob. It's so good so far. Just feels ref it's just feels refreshing to get back to this uh sort of RPG style that we had so many years ago. And then we lost it on we lost it on the Wii, and then 3DS, Wii U, and uh, like onwards, like from Sticker Star to Origami King, they screwed it up. Why are the troopers dead? Uh, uh, they're skeletons. Don't, don't question it. They lost their battles against the dragon. They, they died. <laughs> All games were when Nintendo actually... That, that's true. That is 100% true. Will it do another Power World stream? I mean... But... I mean, that's potential, but... Uh, like, I would have to restart, because... As I mentioned before, like... When it comes to co-op games, specifically like Pal World or anything like that, I would prefer if my uh, partner was in a voice chat with me, and I think that's going to be the limit on that. So more than likely, if I do another Pal World stream, I'm just going to have to like restart it completely and do it solo. Plus, if I, uh, my schedule wasn't crazy with how it is right now, I would for sure do a Pal World stream, but I just don't have, I just don't have it in me, because each day, I, if I wake up at a certain time each day, then I'm only going to be running on maybe four hours sleep. Also, I don't know why I jumped on that one, what the fuck? Oh! I tried to guard on that one. I was a bit too late. Pokemon Emerald is a thousand times better. That is a true that is a true fact. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. That Emerald is a thousand times better than Scarlet and Violet. Hundred percent. Miss Mouse is here besides me. That's very strange. Uh, hey, who are you? Miss Mouse, the globe trotted thief. Heard me, sweetie? Rare vital little badge is here in this castle. That's why I'm here. Why are you people like you rubbing in such a rundown place? Um, well, you see, we're here to beat Hooktail and get the, um, Crystal Star. So don't think we'll let you get the crystal star first, no matter how cute you are. <laughs> don't know a thing like that. Seems intriguing. I think she has something you didn't want me hearing. <laughs> Darn. Well, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for this crystal star first. And I only found the badge I was after, so I'll let you get your crystal star. 
They actually tried in that one. Yeah, they actually. Exactly. It was uh. Start starting from. Po uh, starting from Pokemon Red, Blue, Green, like the first generation up until Generation Five, Nintendo was trying their best with that series, and then Generation Six was, eh, and then it just. Seven was okay, and then it just went downhill on eight and nine. The only exception, uh, the only exception after Generation Five, where uh, they tried their best with a Pokemon game, was Pokemon Legends Arceus, and that came out fantastic. Finding the badge first to help to beat Hooktail. I already found it. It's an interesting one. Full of romance. Potentially. Don't know. Mushroom. Castle key yellow. I'll just uh, grab that one. The events were literally Pokemon with different hats, while in Gen 3, we had exploring a whole island and hunting Mew along with Deoxys. That is true. Yeah. Because... Well, Pokemon with different hats, that's, uh, Pokemon Go. Uh... It just... Yeah, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, it's just the uh, events are just the terror raids, and like, and it, they could be super strong, or they could just be random ones to help get you extra items. That's it. Also, no, no post-game in Scarlet and Violet. I missed the Battle Tower along with the other stuff. I mean... I mean, or originally, yes. There, yeah, hatses and terracrons. Yeah, that makes. Yeah, that's what I thought. But as far as like post-game stuff, I mean, there is the whole thing where uh, you can go back and re-challenge the gym leaders just the just the one time, so that uh, what's her name, Gita, can join in the ace tournament at the academy. But then after that, they didn't really have any other post-game content until they released the DLC. Because by the time the DLC dropped, I, my entire team was already like level 70s to 80s. Bes well, obviously, besides my uh, my starter and maybe one, uh, I think, yeah, besides my starter Quackaval and then also Cerulege, because those two guys were already level one hundred, and then the rest of my team were like level s somewhere between seventy to eighty. Gym leaders reminds me that gym puzzles were actually hard and not playing and not playing. <laughs> Yeah, the freaking some of the puzzles for the gym leaders in Scarlet and Violet were just straight up stupid, or they were just difficult. Yeah. 
Because some of them made no sense. Like, for Katie, you had to, as you said, play football with an olive. Uh... Remember the steam puzzle in the fire gym of Gen 3? I mean... You're talking to a guy who... Uh, has... Like, my first Pokemon game was Black 2. I never got the chance to experience Pokemon, uh, like, Red, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. I didn't even, unfortunately, I didn't even get the remake, uh, the remakes, like, Omega, Ruby, Alpha, Sapphire. I didn't get those. I didn't have the money at the time. Now, for a fact, I know my buddy, uh, Richard, he would know, uh, like, 100% what you're talking about. They can kick a huge olive into a net. It means they can challenge our gym leader. What the? Shit. Okay. Well, I want to talk about the freaking? Uh, we're talking about puzzles for gym leaders. Uh, oh, what was it? The freaking. What am I thinking of? Uh, it was Generation 5, Unova, black, uh, Pokemon Black and White. Uh, it was... Clay, that's who I'm thinking of. The Driftfield City, uh, Drift City Gym Leader, he was ground type. The puzzle for him... Oh my lord. And then once you got to him, he... I, I feel like... He was a bit tough to take down because he had like a he had an Excadrill, he had Seismitoad, uh jeez. Can't remember what else other like other Pokemon he had at that point. They did. They did Diamond and Pearl dirty with the remakes. If anyone says Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl is good, it's a lie. A big. Li yeah, they. It's just like. That's a. Also a fact. It's like uh, I've heard people say that it still plays like a DS game, even though it's like bet like, in like better graphics, for and then ported over to a Switch. So. If all honesty, they should have probably done better with the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Now, here's the thing, though. When they eventually get to the uh, Pokemon Black and White remakes, and they do that one dirty as well, there's going to be a riot. Not just in a certain city, there's going to be a riot around the world because of how... Like, if they do black and white dirty with a remake. I guarantee you there won't be a good remake. I mean, anymore? Probably not. The last time they, the last time Nintendo and Pokemon had a good remake was uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver. Also, no right because YouTuber says it's good. Everyone gets brainwashed. Nope. 
Not me. I hold no punches when it comes to the honest truth. If I say a game is bad, I will tell y'all it's bad. Fan games is better than actual game. Yeah, because look at Pokemon Fusion. And then uh, there was a recent one apparently that got. Re uh, there was a recent Pokemon fan game that got released. What was it called? Poke uh, Poke Rogue? Damn it. Missed that bingo. I need to look into the Poke Rogue because, uh, like, since that recently came out, I have no idea what all it's about. Uh, oh wait, I need to do that. I see a star piece there, so I'm going to go over and grab it. Oh. Shit. I knew it was just getting onto money now. They lost the essence of Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, oh wait, I need to do this again. God damn it! I mean, yeah, that's to be fair. Uh, Cause besides Pokemon Legends, are oh yeah, the villains are literally they are. Cause pause. So Pokemon X and Y team team. The last uh, evil organization Pokemon took seriously was Team Plasma. Team Flare was a massive joke. Aether Foundation and Team Skull were laughingstocks. There's no reason for Team Yell, and then Team Star is just a bunch of uh, kids being bullied in an academy. That, and they grouped up together. If we want po real Pokemon villains just bring back freaking all of the uh, past ones like cause like like Giovanni Mac uh, Giovanni Maxi Archie uh, Cyrus Getsis all of them all of them were serious with their goals in taking over the world whereas Lysander on up they're just jokes It's like they would have been, like, all of them would have been taken, all of those guys would have been taken seriously if they were uh, performing at a freaking stand-up comedy club. The reason Power World is better than Pokemon is because people put effort onto it instead of pumping it out into an AI generator. I mean, that sounds about right. I've seen the effort uh, they put into Power World, and I can respect it. Even though I haven't, 
played much of Pal World since the stream uh, that I did of it. I guess I still say that it looks real damn good. Also, I think this next level up, I might increase my flower point, my flower points a bit more. Uh, I need to remember to equip the badge before I get to the battle. Shine Sprite. Also, what is wrong with the legendaries? Literal mo. Okay. I'll say this right now. The uh, Pokemon Violet, uh, what's it called, uh, Maridon, that makes sense being motorbike because it's, it literally looks great. Whereas Pokemon Scarlet with Coridon, there is no reason for it to be running on all four of its legs if it has those big wheels. The only reason, the only uh, thing it uses those wheels for is inflation for when you go swimming with it. I think that one's dead. Get on the ground. AI generated, so it makes no sense. Yeah. Now they remove Ash Ketchum for some goofy main character. Yeah, to freaking. I don't know why they had to get rid of Ash. Because. Look. Ash's whole thing was. In order to become a Pokemon Master or Champion. He became a Pokemon Champion in uh, the Alola portion of the series. And yet he still went on to travel through Galar to keep going. Why they have to get... It makes no sense. If he had already won uh, against Leon and become the strongest champion possible... Then what's stopping him from traveling to Paldea and uh, journeying around there? <laughs> this generation is screwed is all I'm saying. They won't experience any of the good po- Mm-hmm. If they want to experience good Pokemon, go onto eBay or something, buy, uh, what's it called? Freaking, buy a Nintendo DS Lite, and then that way you can play Generations 3, 4, and 5. You unfortunately won't be able to play Generations, uh, actually, no, you would be able to technically play Generation 1 as well if you buy Fire Red, uh, Fire Red or Leaf Green. But as far like, you need to buy those. Oh wait, no, you can experience all five because you have uh, Generation 1 remakes were GBA, Generation 2 remakes were DS. So you can experience all five of the first uh, Generations 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'm, picking, I'm making Pokemon remakes online, which are good. I would be excited to see that. But I'm saying like, if you want to experience good Pokemon, you need to buy a DS Lite and get all five of the first generations. So you need to get either Fire Red, either Fire Red Leaf Green, uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver, and then you have Ruby Sapphire Emerald. You have Diamond Pearl Platinum. Then you have Black, t uh, Black and White, Black Two, and White Two.
I'll tell you when. I'll tell you when they're out. Oh, okay, I need some. All right. Uh, by the way, wait, 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 Bob, Bob, Bob. Hold on. Uh, which one are you doing first? Are you like, uh, are you just starting off with Kanto? You're making that one. Because I, I need... Now you got me interested. You're doing j Okay. Gen th you're doing Gen 3 because Gen 3 is good. That fair. Fair. Okay, when you eventually make that and release it, yeah, just let me know. You need to send, uh, you would have to send me a link so I can download it and I can play it. Alright, go get some sleep, man. Alright, take care. One thing you must. One thing you must get your friend to play. Also, the guy who was in the Pokemon League stream. Oh yeah, hundred percent. He's he's for sure probably gonna uh, be sitting next to me when we play that, because when it comes to Generation Three, he knows that best. Oh wait, uh, I need to put this on. Also, I just realized I have four freaking badges of happy heart. What the, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh man. Who dares approach me? Didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small. And you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. After gnawing on the bottoms of your feet, I'll saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down head first. Snack time, little appetizers. But which one of you morsels should I taste first? Yeah. Ugh, that awful sound sounds like a frog. How'd you know? I got really bad Ugh, food poisoning once when I ate a frog. I hate them. Oh, 
fighty toki. Just hearing a sound that makes me feel woozy. Five and one. Max HP is twenty, attack is five, and defense is one. She'll stomp and munch on you, and she has a more dragonish attack. Stinky fire breath. She's tricky, especially when she's losing, and she'll try to fool you to be merciful. And one more thing, she hates things that start with F and end with frog. Supposedly there's something related to that somewhere in the castle. Did we find it? Yeah we did. We did, hundred percent. say can you forgive me keep your coins what you must be joking you don't need any coins but how about the lovely rare extra special badge I have I'll give you that it's one of a kind and it's yours for a limited time only would you take it keep it as much as I love the idea of getting a badge keep it really well I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet so, can you take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world right on feet? One time offer. That's disgusting! You aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's one to be able to trust someone, you know? Uh, I guess I'd better. That's just terrible! <laughs> ah, now my strength has returned to me. That's it, enough of this. Let's finish off once and for all. Thirty star points, not bad. But stars we can't seem to locate. Well, if it 
Boys and Coops. Hey, son, you've gotten so big since I saw you last. Well, yeah, I guess I have. But who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow, she used the smell from her feet to stun me, then gobbled me down whole. I haven't hidden in my shell for the ten years since then, inside Hooktail's belly. And boy was it nasty. Yuck! I'm so glad to finally get out. Honestly, Dad, everyone's been so worried about you this whole time. I'm oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you all doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. We came here to defeat Hooktail. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? What's that? I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I was going to keep it as a souvenir. But if this is the thing you've been looking for, you can have it. Come now. I won't take no for an answer. You're Coop's friends, right? Please take it. Earth Trimmer! Nice! <laughs> Using the magical map they received from Princess Peach, Mario and his friends claimed their first crystal star. With the deadly dragon Hooktail defeated, the citizens of Petalburg would rest easy once again. Coops even reunited with his long-lost father, whom he thought was dead. And yet, despite victory in the castle, Princess Peach's whereabouts were still unknown. Where could she be? Yes, it seems Mario's adventure has only just begun. There has the map. It's highly likely he'll show up where we're hunting for a crystal star, Boggly Woods. I must return there immediately and hasten the search. It must not fail. Yeah, sure. Roger, go ahead and with that. Pow! I'm gone. <clears throat> and 
Knight alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Hmm. It's not I saw my new. You ringed it? I mean sir, you ring, sir, Gordas, dude, uh Gordas, sir Gordas, sir. Shut up. Go get the three shadows over here. The three sh shadows? Sir, but they I don't care how you plant it in that sense. Fool, go get them. Now. Gotcha. One more Gordas has need of us. Then we arrive without delay. Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? Assume some poor fool named Mario now has possession of the map. This wouldn't have happened if you had kidnapped Princess Peach when you were supposed to. It wasn't my fault, truly. The town square had too many prying eyes. Too many. Besides, she was soon joined by some old fool of an attendant. Such a fussy fungus. Were it not, all we need to do is find this Mario and steal him up. Yes? Indeed. That is your duty, must I remind you? That map is vital to the X-Naught plan. I'll have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldam. You three shadows must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldam, shall return with you. Return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Merlin, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. Oh, Princess Peach section. Oh dear, here we go again. Give them a kid. This we were sick again. But, I don't know. Where in the world am I? Anyway, it's so unfamiliar. I can at least let Mario know that I've been caught. Bathroom, yeah. It's not happening. Who's that? Hey, come on. They're open by themselves. Man, it doesn't look like anyone's around. Ba 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 da ba ba ba. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. Hello, Princess Peach. Using. I am right here before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus, wait, he's an awful dumbheaded thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind. So why did you leave me in here? An unusual program de deviation occurred when I observed you just after you were brought here. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs. And their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. 
such a compulsion has no pre precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer, I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say like, you want to observe it? To know more about me? Could it be that you... No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because... It's just too weird. Please tell me. Please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe... Is it possible that, well, you're in love? With me? Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you didn't... You don't know what love is? <laughs> I wanna know what love is. I want you to show me. Stop. <laughs> now, I'm gonna pass on that. Love, how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you'll do anything to help when that person is in trouble. Happiness. Fun. I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Mm. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? But you're a computer. Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. I can't believe this. You ex-jerks kidnapped me before I could even begin to enjoy my vacation. And now you come in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. Look at my wishes. Ha! Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? No. Tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay. Here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? Alright, let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Uh... Okay then. Good night. Good night, Princess Peach. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Hello, I am back. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I do a pretty good robotic voice. <laughs> Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here... Cammy, you crusty old hag. Why did you summon me? Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Kami Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. Oh, man. Someone drew a mustache on Bowser's mural, I saw that. Ah, Lord Bowser. Ooh. I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kemi Koopa. Now, out with it! Why have you called me here? Please, you grumpiness, don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. <clears throat> it's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or something? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. T treasure? Yes, Mario's gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like wor good world-conquering tools. I want them. Hmm. Yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Blech. Blech. I almost threw up just now. I can't stand fried eggs. But why do you ask? Well, during my Mario Recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I plan on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course... I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. <laughs> Look at A picnic? It's serious. This is no time for fun. See, this is why my evil plans always derail, because you clods always goof off. <clears throat> oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure? Hmm? What's that? What? Is this true? Lord Bowser! It's terrible news! Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport! Huh? What? Tell me you're lying, Cammy! How? When? Where? Who do such a thing besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to Rogueport now. I've got to kidnap her back. Sure, bust through the wall, why don't you? But your grudginess, wait up! Oh, 
Koops, my lad, are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm going to come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. But, always remember this. You are my son, Koops, and I am your father. Koops, my sweet. I'll be right <laughs> here. God damn it, Koopa Koo. Ah. <clears throat> I just said, if anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So, where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario? Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the dozen year door. Then the stairs will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. And it didn't stop there. Each stone of yesterday shall shine, shall shine and point towards the next in line. That's what the book says. Which means if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand year door, so that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magic map. Exactly. Come on, let's go. Oh, and save right here.